Hi, welcome back to Learn, Build, Fly. Thought we'd talk a little bit about our woodworking area today. I'm with Dick Schultz. Dick pretty much oversees this whole operation down here. And he could probably give us some good insight on the reasons that this is successful. Good morning. Uh, I, I really like working with kids and I think that's what makes us successful. Uh, I like to see the, their eyes light up when you get them inspired. To, uh, maybe they're going to be a pilot. Maybe they're going to be more than that. Maybe they might be an engineer. Uh, and to get them started, uh, we just have them do something fairly simple. Build a rib, uh, get them excited about it, and talk about it and how it's used and how it fits in the wing and uh, how everything is held together to help you fly through the air. This is our goal, is to build a rib. And uh, this is the A side of the rib. You can see there's gussets on one side and not on the other. And in order to do that, we have to make all these parts. It's bent, stick on the top and on the bottom. And we have to make the nose blocks and the tail block and all of that stuff. Uh, the rest of that they cut by hand. So that's our goal. Uh, we go about bending the sticks by taking a pan, put some water in it, get it to boil on something, on a stove, set a, a fixture that you can make yourself out of PVC pipe, set it down on there, put your sticks down inside, and uh, plug up the top so that the steam doesn't go out and is wasted, so you can steam the first part of that stick. And that's how you make the sticks. Once they're heated, and steamed, you take the, take the sticks and fit them into the, into the fixture. This one's already been bent, so it fits pretty good. And uh, you, this one, this little fixture is a two by six. And uh, you can get about four sticks of wood in there and then put clamps on it, clamp it down. I use about three clamps on each one. This is what you're going to end up with, is some sticks that are bent. Uh, I have both top and bottom. They look similar, but the bend is slightly different. And so that's, that will go into the top and the bottom part of your fixture uh, to start building the ribs. We've already put the top and bottom rib, uh, bottom uh, pieces into the rib fixture, and they're fit in uh, quite nicely. And then uh, the next step is to take pieces that we've pre-cut to length and angles that are fit to the, that, and that uh, is another job for somebody that's very dedicated. Um, we take uh, individual sticks, lay them out on the, on the fixture, get the angles, use a uh, lead pencil, cut the angles to the exact size, doing the verticals first, all the verticals and then the, the cross pieces. Cut the pieces and get them in position. Then one of the geniuses here at Learn, Build, Fly has uh, designed a program that cuts all the gussets for us on a, on a laser. And uh, we punch all these parts out. They're all labeled as to where they go and each part is labeled on the, on the fixture so that we know exactly where to put it, both A side and the B side. The first part is to assemble the A side. One of the things we've learned the hard way is to not epoxy all the parts down to the fixture. So we've come up with this, taking regular saran wrap or some other wrap and, and taping it down and spreading it across the fixture and then fitting all of your vertical pieces in first so that it, it pulls, pulls this up so that you have enough room uh, so that the parts aren't pulled up by the plastic. Tape it down to the end so that it can't get away on you. And uh, just leave it hanging there because you'll use more than what you expect to use. And fit all your vertical pieces in first. And as you can see, it, it pulls the, it pulls the, the plastic up. Well, for mixing our epoxy, we're using the West system of epoxy. 
and uh, we've uh, built our own little balance. It's a beam balance that balances out and then we add the weight to it because we're mixing one to five. We're using washers for weights. We insert this weight until the beam lifts off and then we add the other five washers to it uh, using weights like this you have to get them exactly in the same spot every time so then we add the rest of the epoxy to the weight and pump it and we have a mix when we're done with the mix we take a paintbrush and stir it Okay, after uh, this whole uh, rib assembly is completed, it's down into the fixture and the epoxy is set. All the little gussets are in place, they're nailed down in the right spots. Then we pry it up out of this, throw the plastic away, and it goes to another table where they do the B-side and repeat everything on the B-side. The main difference is is we cover everything because there's trapped locations where you can't get epoxy in there to weather seal it. So we cover everything with epoxy on the inside and then put the B side on. This is uh, our final assembly. We've got uh, more than 60, we need 16 ribs for uh, uh, both wings, for a complete uh, set of wings. We need 16 of them. We've got about 20 of them on this fixture. We've made some some uh, short spars that slide in and out. The spar itself, uh, first and second spar, uh, are holding them together and then we clamp them so that they're tight and then sand the entire surface until they're all the same size all the way down. Uh, pull out, notice there's no nails sticking out the sides. The tails are all the same and everything is ready to be assembled into a wing. There are, however, two types of ribs. The second rib is over the top of the reinforcement of the bar and has an extra quarter of an inch on each side and an extra eighth of an inch on the sides here for the tail rib. Then they're sanded together so that they can fit this to that. The next step I have to do is fit the two ribs together and sand them as a complete unit. We'll assemble the four chosen for one side and the eight for the other side of the wing and put them together and make a complete wing out of it. <laughs>